we have long, long, long time really enjoyed um, having so many great partners to work with in the retail space to help our agents get prospects. The key to this business is having lots of people to talk to and having a retail partner for each agent, I think is critically important. In fact, I think every agent should have at least one retailer that they're partnering with. They're begging for agents. Why wouldn't you? Now, with some of them, there's some pros and cons, and so we're gonna walk through each and every one of them. Here's an overview of what we're gonna be talking about here this morning. <clears throat> we're gonna go through each of these programs. We're gonna weigh the pros and the cons for agents, talk about what some of the requirements are, what some of the costs are, and deadlines that are all coming up. So if you're gonna do any of this stuff, you better jump on it like literally today. So we're gonna go through Walmart, talk about Sam's Clubs, we're gonna talk about Walgreens, CVS, Kroger, Centerwell, and we'll uh, briefly go through the North American shop, the North American Insurance Services store. That is your hub for all community marketing. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I know a lot of agents were um, in our Walmart program last year, and you know, Walmart does this, they make a pretty significant, not pretty significant, a huge change to the game plan for 20 for the upcoming selling season. So this is just what it is, guys, and we're just gonna have to accept that Walmart does what it wants to do, and it made a big change to how it is operating its agent program. Keep in mind there are over 4,500 Walmart retail stores nationwide, and with this particular opportunity, it is an in-store retail booth, and it, that booth is provided. Now, when we go through these uh, following programs, you're gonna see really two types of retail partners one type is where you have an in-store retail booth where you're literally sitting in the store. And then the other you're going to find is more community of marketing and event driven. Agents are gonna to have to decide which they like better. Do you like sitting in a store? Well then programs like this are gonna be great. If you prefer to have a community marketing partnership, well then you're gonna find some other opportunities that might fit you better. This particular one is in-store retail booth. Unlike last year, they have merged the Medicare and ACA opportunities into one. That's good news. You don't have to worry about talking about one and not the other. Um, but you do have to be contracted and certified for both Medicare and ACA. The opportunity is obviously client accumulation. You'll be talking to people in stores with the biggest retailer in the world. However, the big change this year are the costs. So an agent has to pay $200 a month or $600 in total for rent for the space at the Walmart store. And then the big bomb that they dropped is you do have to do a comp split of your commissions with Walmart in order to make the dollars work for them. So an agent has to give them 100 first year commission, 50 on renewal for Medicare Advantage. And they also have to split $23 uh, for ACA and 23 on renewal. That, those are annual uh, numbers, by the way, not monthly. But that's a pretty big number to give to Walmart. I get why agents are up in arms about um, Walmart wanting a cut of their comp. Um, and I'm still a little fuzzy on exactly how they're going to get that. I do know that Walmart has its own proprietary quoting and enrollment platform and um, sales do have to go through that platform and that way they can track things. In addition, there are some production requirements in order for you to maintain that store. So, uh, and then of course there are um, uh, hours that you have to commit to manning that booth, which is 20 hours a week, three days a week minimum. So I understand some agents are a little disappointed with all of these rules and requirements and costs, but there's no question that if you work a Walmart correctly, this is chump change to an agent. You should be able to make tons and tons of money from this opportunity. Um, nobody drives more traffic than Walmart. It's a great opportunity. And keep in mind, they do not want a split of any of the ancillary. And that's the trick of these deals. Who cares if they take some of your Medicare Advantage comp? Make sure you're stacking things like hospital indemnity, dental, vision, and hearing, cancer, other supplemental health products because you get to keep all of those commissions. 
Don't worry about the MA and the ACA. Focus on stacking. So that's the Walmart opportunity. The sister of Walmart, maybe in this case the brother, is Sam's Clubs. They are obviously part of the Walmart family. There are over 500 Sam's Club stores nationwide. This, again, is an in-store retail booth that is provided to the agent. Products that are sold are Medicare, ACA, and Group. The reason Group is thrown in there is because Sam's Club tends to appeal to the self-employed and small business owners, as opposed to Walmart, which is more mass public. Again, the opportunity is client accumulation. Again, though, there are those costs associated with working a Sam's Club, just like there is a Walmart, 200 bucks a month in rent an agent comp split of only the MA and the ACA, no comp splits on groups, no comp splits on ancillary. That's really the way you're going to make this opportunity work. Once again, 20 hours a week, three days a week are required. And again, there are some production requirements in order to maintain your store. So that's what's going on with Walmart and Sam's Clubs. Uh, Again, we have deadlines coming up. If you haven't gotten your store yet, I highly recommend you get it like literally today. You're running out of time. Changing gears, we also know now have access to Walgreens stores. So there are 8,700 plus Walgreens stores nationwide. And once again, just like Walmart, this too is an in-store retail booth. One thing that is different is that Walmart is providing the booth along with signage, whereas Walgreens expects you to bring your own table and chairs. The products are both Medicare and ACA. This is, again, a client accumulation opportunity. It is um, um, in-store, though, uh, but there are no costs, and you're only required to go one day a week. They recommend two or three days, but they're only requiring one day a week. So this is an easy one to pick up. Um, There's really no downside. There's no cost. You do have to have both Medicare and ACA contracts, so make sure you're getting those done if you're interested in a Walgreens store. To me, this one's a slam dunk. If you don't have prospects, sit in a Walgreens store, work with a Walgreens pharmacist. This is simple, easy, low cost. Everybody should have one of these. Another great partner is the CVS retail pharmacy chain. CVS has 9,300 stores, but this opportunity is more about community marketing events. It's not sitting in the store. They do not provide for um, uh, sitting in stores or booths being set up or any of those kind of things. Obviously, the focus is Aetna Medicare, Medicare Advantage, and Medicare Supplement because obviously CVS and Aetna are the same company now. Um, Really, your opportunity here are conducting joint community marketing activities with your local CVS store, CVS store manager, and CVS store pharmacist. If you like partnering with pharmacies, this is the way to go. CVS obviously has a huge footprint and lots and lots of opportunities. Plus, you get to work with your local Aetna Medicare rep, and they're going to help drive activity to you as well. There is a cost. There's a $199 agent retail activation fee. And with that activation fee, you get a whole kit of materials that you can use at the CVS stores, or frankly, any retail store. In a minute, I'll show you ours, but um, but there is a fee in order to work with a CVS store. And of course, there is a cost for conducting whatever community marketing events, whether you're doing mailers or flyers or however it is you're promoting your community marketing event with CVS, there's a cost to the agent for that. Next on the list is Kroger. Yeah, we have a great opportunity with Kroger. It's one of the largest, if not the largest, grocery store chain in the country. 2,700 stores. There is also an in-store retail booth that is provided. The focus is really Medicare. This is, again, a great client accumulation opportunity. There are some costs. There is a $1,500 store rental fee that agent would need to pay. And again, you have to uh, commit to the hours worked, which is 20 hours a week, uh, three days a week minimum. The beauty of Kroger is there are no production requirements. There are no monthly uh, rent and biggest and most important, no comp split. Centerwell is a little different from any of the things that we talked about because it is a nationwide primary care clinic chain. There's 300 plus Centerwell locations around the country, and they are very hungry to provide or to work with agents on community marketing events. Centerwell, for those of you who don't know, is owned by Humana, and they only accept Medicare Advantage plans, and it is a primary care clinic just like most primary care clinics that's kind of simple, easy, doc in a box, uh, but where you can partner with a local physician and your local center well office 
your so local center well rep, and of course your Humana rep that owns center well. Um, center well only accepts Medicare, and they do not work with group plans. They don't work with individual plans. It's only purely a Medicare play and mostly Medicare Advantage. They are hungry to do joint community marketing activities, and the nice thing about partnering up with Centerwell is that they're willing to pay for events, and they will even pay a referral fee to an agent for referring patients to a Centerwell doctor. So no costs here, it's certainly some legwork um, in that you have to conduct community events. If you're conducting seminars or you're going to senior centers, work with your center well rep. Um, not only will they help you with those events, but they'll even provide you their center well um, uh, primary care clinic as a meeting space. Most of them have spaces that can hold as many as 50. Some even hold as many as 75. They'll bring in food and you can really get a lot of, uh, of help from primary care clinic like center well to um, to conduct your community marketing. So that's another great one. I would be remiss if I didn't mention, like, where do you get all of the materials and tools that agents need in order to conduct all of this activity? Well, that's the good news. Everything that you're gonna need is in the North American Insurance Services store. You can shop by going online to our website. In the upper right-hand corner of the website, you'll see something called shop, and everything you need is all in one place. So if you're just looking for, as an example, a pharmacy in a box, you can order one of these things, and it is completely custom customized to the agent. Simple, easy. They are battle-tested. This has been proven to work. Every um, um, Everything that's been built and designed has been built with agents, um, by agents. So this stuff works. A simple pharmacy in a box comes with a table runner, rack cards on the rack, plus um, uh, stuffers and an ID badge that um, you can pick between a pin or a magnetic. Simple, easy, customized to you. You don't have time to be messing with this stuff. If you order uh, from the store today, Usually, you'll get a preview of the material within 24 to 48 hours, and then you'll get the actual um, uh, material printed and shipped right to your door within about a week. So don't miss out on ordering from the store. I know you're going to tell me, well, I could just go to Vistaprint, or I can go here, and I can go there, and I can build all my own. You know, feel free, guys. We don't... <laughs> We're not in the print business to, um, to you know, waste your guys' time. It's really a time-efficient way of getting the materials that you need, and that's why all our biggest producers know this is the place to go to get the materials that they need. We'll get questions here in just a moment, but let's talk about next steps. First and foremost, you got to get all your contracts set up. I realize we went through a lot of different opportunities. The consistency, frankly, is Medicare and ACA, every single one of these companies are looking for Medicare and or ACA agents. So if you don't have those done, you need to get those done like today. If you haven't done your certifications yet, that better get done today because deadlines are all coming up fast. You're gonna wanna get all your trainings done. Um, uh, many of these retail opportunities have required trainings. I know Walmart has a certification that they require. So you're gonna wanna get those knocked out. September is going to be a heavy training month. All the carriers are going to be training. All of the, um, all these retail partners are going to be training. So be prepared for tons and tons of training in September. You're going to want to secure your store or your clinic ASAP. We're running out of time, guys. I did this call as a last-ditch effort to remind everybody that if you want a store, if you want a clinic, you better get on it fast. Um, I mean, like literally the deadline is this week. If you don't get your store or your clinic nailed down this week, it's a crapshoot. I will try to help you. I can't promise you anything. If you wait until after this week, we'll do everything we can to get you through. Um, but if you're on this call and you're interested in any of these retail opportunities, you better get on it like immediately. Last but not least, if you have not gotten your materials for the selling season from the store, you need to order those because you need to get those materials fast and be ready to deploy them. I use mine every single day. They work, they're simple, and they're easy. Okay, I know that was a lot of stuff we covered. What questions do we have here? All right. Um, and by the way, I recognize a retail store or clinic may not be in everybody's marketing plan. 
But I can't emphasize enough, if you don't have enough people to talk to this selling season, you better grab one of these things. Pick one. You'll get out of it what you put into it, make no mistake. But you need to have a retail partner. These are just two good opportunities to just walk away from. I know agents are like, ah, I don't want to spend the time and I don't want to spend the money. That's fine. You do whatever you want. But if you want to have a great selling season, it's a limited time um, to make a maximum amount of effort and activity. Highly recommend that you pick one up. All right. If you don't have any questions, thank you so much for joining. That's the conclusion of this training. Get you back another 10 minutes to your day. Thank you so much for joining. Have a great day. Talk to you later.